Bonsec wishes to remind that the information we provide on our portfolios is general advice, and we encourage investors to read the PDS or seek professional advice prior to making any decisions on their investments. Today, we're joined by Lucas Paul Bow from Lonsec. He's an investment guru that works at Lonsec, looking after all things about the market, an economist. So we've got a few questions to run through with Lucas about what's happening in the world, the share markets, uh, and investment portfolios across the board. So thanks for joining us today, Lucas. So we get uh, a few questions from clients lately around, yeah, their, the performance of their investment portfolios that, you know, for us, most of them are in retirement mode. So, yeah, yeah. they've dropped, you know, substantial amounts, you know, $60,000, for example, in the last six or so months. So I suppose the, the question to you um, and the response back to them is like, why should I or why should I not really care about this? You know, should I move it to more of a defensive position now or, or again, like we try and always do with clients is just hold fast, hold steady, believe in our investment philosophy and, and just ride the wave or ride the, ride the fun for the next few yeah. years at least. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, it, it ultimately, I mean, you, it, it depends on the individual and, and obviously you guys will be aware of, you know, individual circumstances, but all, all I can say is that, um, uh, and, and sort of to my earlier comments, when you get these sort of environments, there are sometimes markets, over, you know, they overshoot, um, things get oversold. Um, and one, one of the most dangerous things, like anything, is is um, reacting on emotion. And as we know, fear is, is a powerful emotion. And, you know, if I sort of reflect back to the GFC, which, which you know, you had big structural issues in in the banking system, basically, uh, and and the credit, you know, access to credit just sort of disappeared, um, so to speak. So, um, but in that time, yes, you saw a lot of clients, um, uh, you know, move, move, move to cash or whatever it was, um, and then subsequently, you know, the market sort of recovered, and 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 you had that recovery. So. I think it's just it, it's just a sort of uh, from my perspective, it's it's always thinking about you know what's the broader objective uh, and, and the broader goal. So as clients have their own objectives and goals, I mean, from an investment perspective, when we think about the portfolio, we also think about that and think, okay, well, what are we trying to achieve over the three, five, seven, whatever seven year period, um, and trying to look through and and look through sort of the day-to-day -day data uh, and say, okay, well, what's changed, you know, um, and what are the risks? And then trying to sort of, you know, have a have a thought process around it. So um, certainly in periods of volatility, that's what helps us is having a very clear process and building blocks. So we're looking at, okay, our asset prices, expensive or cheap. Um, What's changing in terms of the economy? You know, yeah, you know, are rates going up? Are they going down? Uh, you know, what's what what's economic growth looking like? All of those sort of things, and having a clear framework. So, and that just helps you sort of avoid making um, rash or res emotional uh, mm -hmm. responses. Um, uh, and so, so I mean, I'm trying to uh, without sort of directly saying, you know, okay. What, what, but, but all I'll sort of say is that we've seen evidence in the past that eventually markets do recover. Um, periods of transition are painful mm. and we're, we're in a period of transition at the moment. And that transition is effectively, if you were to break it down to its most basic element, we're moving from very low interest rates to higher interest rates. And the whole economy, households, everything is recalibrating. Um, and that's mm. why we're seeing the volatility. So, um, I think just sort of, you know, now sort of changing it, unless your appetite for risk has changed in terms of your, you know, your risk profile and so forth. Uh, and I know that's, a, that's, that's what, you know, you guys have to sort of grapple with that. And it's a hard conversation mm -hmm. because, you know, when, when, when things are good, it's different when, th when things are more volatile. But, um, but unless there's any sort of fundamental shift in what, you know, and yet all your time horizon still the same, then, I think they're the things to, to think about. 
rather than sort of looking at, okay, well, gee, the last several months, six months have been ugly. You know, I'm going to mm-hmm. make a call based on that. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those long, you know, throwaway lines, but that sort of having that longer term view is important. Or it's important all the time, but certainly important in, in, when you got periods of more volatility. Because as I said, there are sometimes opportunities as well in this environment. Um, and, and you know, you just need to, you need to, you know, it's not all bad news, I think, um, all the time.